Constantino, you're now here. We are here in, uh, in Amsterdam in the Essex store. What's your impression of the store? Uh, when I when I arrived yesterday and coming for the first time in the store, it, I have a big surprise what I see here because uh, without only they don't have only the um, gear here. They have the technology and uh, starting with the measure for the foot and uh, doing the lab and the treadmill, uh, everything for the heart and. Uh, I think this is amazing have here something in the Amsterdam, something like this. And for the people while they're running, they can see which kind of shoes they can choose uh, for running and they can uh, uh, improve them time for marathon and for the, any other race. And it's, a pra it's my opinion, it's, it's very impression for this, what they did. What kind of type of racing shoes do you prefer from Essex? Uh, it's a world type uh, for the race. I have the Tartar. The name is Tartars, and it's old. It's from 2004, and I I keep the same uh, shoes because I feel very very well in the in the race with them. And for training, for training I have um, Gel Cayano and DS Trainer. Let's go to your to your running. You are now preparing for for London. It will be your 10th time? Yeah, I ran uh, a lot of times. Yeah, 10 times in, I was in London for uh, run uh, London Marathon. And this year I'm going again and I'm in good shape now. And I, the preparation is going well and uh, we see what happens in, uh, in the day of the marathon. What, what is your nicest re uh, memory of London? Oh, I have a lot of uh, nice memory in uh, London. Um, all the the race I did in London, it was great because many times I, I'm trying to um, do the best time what I, I can do. And all the time I go, when I run there, I run with uh, a lot of elite runners, a good one, and uh, I'm trying to push the hard at the pace and going with Paula Radcliffe all the time in the front. But sometimes she won because she ran more faster than me. and. All the time I come in second and third place. Not I didn't want the London Marathon. All the time I want won the race. Not coming only in the second or third place. And this is those the not good things. But I all the time I train very well for London, and uh, I have a good memory for London Marathon. And it's a great race. It's a flat, and you can uh, do the the good time in London. What what do you expect from this year from London? Uh, this year I'm uh, thinking run under 228, and uh, if I can come in in top six, top ten, it will be better for me. It's not number one you, you are going for? Uh, it's hard to say, oh, I want to uh, go and uh, win the race, because when you get in older and older, the body is not responding anymore, but my preparation is well, and you never know what happened in the day of the race. Maybe I'm lucky, and if the, everything is going right until the race, uh, yeah, why not? I'm not saying, oh, I'm older. No, why not? I can win the race. Why not? <laughs> yes, yeah, like three days ago, you celebrated your 41st, 41 birthday. Congratulations. <laughs> At that day, did you run? Yeah, I ran a little bit. Uh, uh, not too much. I ran with one day before the my birthday. I ran like two hours, and um, in the day with the, my birthday, I say, okay, I'm not running the same like what I ran yesterday because I I supposed to be a little fresh for my birthday. <laughs> but all the time I run for my birthday. And for London, you're now still the the reigning uh, Olympic champion. Next year there will be Olympics again. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I keep focus for the next Olympic Games in London for the next year. And I want to do the best what I can do. And if I run well, it will be better. If not, we see what, what happened there. I just want to focus until there. Let's talk a little bit about your body. Um, you're now 41. Um, is there a difference? What, what kind of difference is it if you are 31 or 41 for running? Yeah, when you are more younger, uh, the body is more uh, have uh, it's more uh, fresh now. After many many years uh, running, and uh, the body it's uh, it's tired. It's coming tired, tired and tired. 
I'm doing a good uh, recovery, but it's not enough because I'm trying to do sometimes the same training what I did before, and I don't feel I can do. I can. I feel. I don't feel. Um, I can finish the training what I did before, and this is. Uh, and I reduce a, a little the mileage. I'm not doing the same mileage what I, what I did before, and and uh, maybe this one helped me more not to do the same training what I did before. And for the mind, what is the difference if you in the mind compared to towards racing if you are 41 or 31? You know, the mind all the time is strong, you know, because all the time I'm thinking I can do, I can do, but the body is not responding. The mind is all the time it's strong. <laughs> can you give an advice for the jo for the young generation? I think the young generation need to do more sports, not to stay a lot on the computer because. I see the new generation, they want to stay only on the computer. And my opinion, my advice for them, not stay on the computer, just going outside to any sport, not only running. They can do any sport, but they must go to do a sport. What's the secret of your long career? Oh, my secret for, is not a secret. I just, all the time, I, I thinking I want to go to the... Olympic Games and won a medal in the Olympic Games. This it was my my dream for the young uh, child. And uh, my dream it was real in 2008 in the Olympic Games in Beijing. And uh, I give the advice to the young generation do the same things. If they have a dream from the young uh, children, do what they want to do and uh, keep focus for what they want to do.